All right. Hello, hello. This is your host, USA Bruce, and we are back with another replay, this time on a map that's never been ever seen before on this channel because, well, you know, nobody ever plays this map as a table map to play at. So we are at Tournament Blizzard, which is basically Tournament Desert, but it's snowing! Look at the snow! Yay! Now, uh, one thing I should mention is that I wrote Tournament Desert Riser Reds version. I mean, Tournament Blizzard, but uh, apparently there's oil wells here. So this might be the Zero Hour version. I might actually be mistaken there. But we are going to see a mirror matchup, a Russia, a Russia mirror up, and we're going to see um, Shiravi as our yellow Russia. And Vitamin as our Red Russia, going and fighting around on this map. We're going to see around two Mishkas. Oh, wow. Vitamin for, went for double Mishkas. And we see that Shirai went for an early barracks. He's going to rush both oils, hopefully. Meanwhile, Vitamin is getting up his early war factor. I don't see a barracks for him just yet. And uh, I'm trying to look around. I don't really see anything amazing. I'm seeing this uh, conscript trying his best to pew, pew, pew back at this uh, unit. But, yeah, one truck right now from uh, Shiravi. Uh, there's one truck in it right now. He's going to probably get a second one. Let's check here. There's two trucks here. One, two trucks. There's two trucks here. So uh, there's that. The War Factory is up. Uh, let's see. Is there any armored units coming out? I do see one BMP come out, but it does not. Uh, one Mauler. Pardon me. The name is Mauler. I see a barracks and a radar outpost. So with the radar, tier one should be coming out soon. But players should be wary of getting a, you know, of getting uh, tier one before getting second power plant. He definitely is one of those. Shiravi is going to try to capture the top le bottom left oil. We are going to see a uh, Mauler chase down this Mishka. This Mishka is going to retreat back, but will they be able to stop this uh, conscript from capturing? This bunker is captured by Shiravi, so it will gun down that conscript, and he will be capturing it. Uh, but luckily, there's no capture bonus for the oil de oil uh, oil derricks. So we are going to see a bunch of RPG conscripts and some uh, normal conscripts come out. We do see them go probably going to go inside the Mauler. The second oil has been captured by, by, uh, by uh, Shiravi. But as a response, Vyman has quickly built a third supply, and he will be capturing the. He will be collecting from this area pretty soon. He does have only one truck over there, so that will be delayed. This scout has not been. Uh, uh, I mean, he, I don't think Vyman sees it. Oh wow, he actually doesn't see it. So this is a very interestingly invisible scout right now. It's giving a bunch of vision to Shiravi to. Let's look and see. You can see the vision. I heard his unit lost, but I think it was the. Uh, yeah, the garrison here was cleared. Um, so there's no other conscripts around, so this is a free capture if the Schmel stops firing. If he starts capturing and this, this Schmel attacks him, he might actually burn his own conscript. Yes, two more hits, maybe three. Yes, do it. Yes, hit him. One more, one more. One more, no, 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 no. one more, one more. One, now, now one more, come on. Poof, he just burned his own conscript. Genius. Genius. Insert, um, what was that called? At Gate something, you know that movie that the Russians hate that apparently, you know, I don't know, it's a World War II movie where the Russians kill their own guys. I don't really know much about World War II, but it reminds me of that movie. Was it like a downfall? No, that was a Hitler movie. Okay, we see Amala getting intercepted here by shock troopers and a Tunguska. I'm not sure if he, yeah, he realized that he killed his own conscript. He's going to put another, uh, send another conscript or two over there. The smaller is now engaging the, the, the supply truck to harass these supplies. He does have the assault armaments installed. No other infantry upgrades. I don't see any of them right now. Also, armaments have not come out for a supply truck, sadly. But this, uh, fuck. No, the shock troopers inside. So this bunker, this heavily garrisoned bunker, will now have free reign on this entire area. He is currently trying to capture this uh, supply, the supply center. So he should probably try his best. But now that's a, that's that's a real. Like you know, this entire area right now here is probably not not here. Like something like this. And yeah, that's probably like under control by this um, you know by this bunker. So that's really a shame. It is already tier one, I think. Yeah, there's tier one. So helipad is coming up from Vitamin. I think Shiravi should have his own already. But I think instead of going for a helipad, he just ignored it entirely, going for direct tier 2. I think he really wants the Vorus and the Sentinels out. But I do like this uh, mechanized, you know, this uh, light mechanized infantry thing. But we do see, like I said, the, um, the industrial plant getting built up. No players are going back to a real collection. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Um, Shiravi, Vitamin is. And he is capturing back this oil. He does not have any anterior in this area, so I wish Shiravi did have something to cap destroy or contest this area, like a helicopter, a heli, or a hunchback, but it doesn't seem so. I do see this Kodiak here for some reason, and this third supply truck, I think it was the one that retreated back. I'm not sure, either way, there's an RPG conscript scouting and killing this scouting Mishka. No eyes allowed. 
I do see this garrison captured by Shirami as well. The color yellow doesn't really show, but yeah, this area is captured by Shirami, this garrison. That will give him some vision, not a lot, but yeah, there's some vision. Oh, there's supply truck collecting from this supply. Go home, supply truck. You're drunk, or drunker than usual for a Russian, because you're not an Osprey. And we do see some Schmel troopers come out. Now, one thing I should mention about Risers that I like is that... Um, you know, anti-garrison infantry have the benefit of, you know, being infantry, so anti-tank, anti-infantry units like, you know, the missile defenders or the RPG constructs aren't as effective. I think he tried to, like, tell this guy to go in, but he's too he needs to uh, click here. Otherwise, if you just tell him to go inside here, he'll just stay here. You just tell him to go here and then go in here right now. The battle has slowed down, but there's a nice composition of units on the left right now. I don't get why the Kodiak is there. Like, if it's meant to be there, like, it's too heavy of a unit for there, but I don't know. There are two shock troopers coming out, and tier one is tier two is getting built by Vitamin. I do see a helipad, a heli coming out. No upgrades from him just yet. Shiravi should be on. Oh, he's not on low power, but yeah, he's building two war, two power plants right now. I think he wants the helipad just now, but um, I see a huge lack of anti. I just see some what, some igloos over here and a Kasha over here. Actually, no, oh, no, I'm wrong. No, no, there's not, a, there's not a lack of anti here. Like there is, but only this uh, barracks is vulnerable, and I don't think like anyone would actually mind. Okay, I'll go for yellow now. Yeah, yellow's good. So these two schmels are just looking around with these units, but I do see these uh, shock troopers going inside with these iglas inside the smaller. Oh, no, just one mauler. Yeah, the other one isn't it. So yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna happen next. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Wait one second. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's look around here. We do see the smoke getting popped out. The smokes are getting popped. You can see this wave, this line getting uh, spawned right now. Uh, we do see shock troopers do immense amount of damage right now. Oof, those units are just getting slaughtered. This Mishka with the shock troopers are actually quite. Oh, they has an ERA, so he actually has uh, extra armor in there. This Tunguska does get taken out, but uh, one of the Mishkas have Iglas inside it. It will try to snipe out one of these uh, Hellions. It does manage to kill this, both of them. The Shock Trooper Mishka does get destroyed while the Shock Troopers are continuing to fight. The Kodiak is no match for that, and now we see a MTP trying to do his best to repair his friends, but it's not going to be enough. RPG Boris is going to try to take out one of the vehicles, the other MTP, I think, no? But uh, you're going to go inside the garrison. This gar this this area, this... Um... No, wait, apparently the Shock Trooper BM... Wait, no. I know, there's Shock Troopers outside. I thought it was a Mishka. It might be a second Mishka, I know. But these Shock Troopers are trading in. They will cause a uh, trade-off, and they will sell off the supply right now. Sound effects are a bit high though, aren't they? Unless I'm gonna remove that a bit. The shock troops are really loud. Okay. The slow strike force isn't doing much either right now. The shock trooper is gonna get bleed. It's gonna start bleeding from these shock troopers inside this building. Oh, the Schmel does manage to clear that shock trooper out of it. The barracks does get tried to sell, but the cell does not get completed. That is a shame. Now I think the right flank is completely exposed. I do see a Kashan getting built, but I guess. I mean, with this infantry, I guess it could be useful, but with this Mishka, it's not going to do anything. They definitely need um, anti-infantry weapons. I do see a scout missile come out from uh, Vitamin, but I'm not sure what he saw. He sent it all the way here. He scouts out the enemy as tier 2, so I'm probably some, uh, some um, secondary economy up. He has some secondary economy on his own. There's two Hellions up. I don't see any upgrades, not even Thermal Barracks or Goliath, so they will be ca causing some problems. I think the um, uh, Iglas did get managed to get killed, so these uh, shock troops are completely exposed. Some of the upgrades has been purchased. The MTP is going to try to make it run, make it for his life, but unless he pops a smoke and somehow breaks a log. No, he's not going to lead veterans to that. This confused supply truck is still collecting from the middle, so yay. And we do see the first grumble of the game. That's pretty good. And I see uh, junk, or basically armor reserve sent in with some junk and maybe some conscripts and rank 1 VDV. I guess Shirari just wants some more boots on the ground. Yeah, um, he probably scouted these out. I love those new planes. Those, those are AN 224, I think. It's the new. Wait, what's. Wait, what was that? What was that? You could see the flying balls, right? Okay, well, these strike forces are gonna attack and try to destroy scares. The thermal burning pot does get used, but unlike the uh, Schmel. Oh, wait. Is this is this shock trooper gonna die to fire? No, not the trees. Okay. So, in Russia, the anti garrison methods are um, RPG, VDV RPG units, uh, rocket, rocket VDV, I think, uh, Schmels and Brentinos, Tesla tanks, and Black Bears. 
the flying anti the flying thermobarics do not clear garrisons. He tried that, but it doesn't work that way. But he did manage to clear the bunker entirely. Now we're gonna see a strike force coming from the left. There is a fucking sentinel in the back. The grumble is there to also support him, but I think there's no uh, there's the Tunguska does go down. There's no proper anti infantry aside from that. RPG Boris is having a field day right now. But uh, without that proper anti-air, this one grumble will not be enough. These two helicopters are probably going to go in now. The grumble does manage to fire one shot. The second shot will not be able to fire. He's going to get inside the minimum range of this grumble. He won't be able to fire at that, but the Sentinel does manage to clean off that uh, Hellion. The grumble's barely alive. There's no MTP for current repairs. We're going to see what we can do. These two Tunguskas are stupidly firing at this... Igla Garrison, I think there's Igla's inside this uh, garrison, but uh, we'll see what happens right now. The leader play did not get the recovery. Oh, wait, I stand corrected. He got the recovery, but... Oh, wait, I forgot to delete this. Sorry about that. He got the, the recovery, but he just, like, picked this, so he's going to get, like, two of them instead of these three. Like, he could have gotten much more units. Much... Many more units, yeah, from that area. Uh, for a secondary economy race, I think Shirabi should be ahead. Let's take, take a look. I think Shirabi is ahead, yeah, but this... Uh, yeah, oil is destroyed that. Yeah, the oil is captured here. RPG Boris is going on the left. He's going to look for some easy prey. Maybe could, he could finish up that uh, Grumble and probably send in some Hellions as... Wait, there's a Kashan over there, but that's not going to be... Oh, there's a second Grumble over here. Never mind. I think aircraft for this area is denied, mostly. Now, one thing that I should mention is that uh, the Strike Force for the armor Reserves are pretty good, but you should always add an MTP because they do have low health, so that fast healing rate is pretty good. I do see three Kodiaks and Shock Troopers going in from the right. And MTP is in the back in case for any repairs, but I don't see any grumbles that's in the range. So this entire strike force is actually completely naked for anti-air coverage. And like Russia is all about like helicopter, like action rise the resident type of helicopter warfare and artillery. But you know these guys still don't have any helicopter coverage anyways. There's a bunch of Mishkas right now. I think that's a Schmel Mishka. Yeah, and a Kash down with some shock troopers. Now they're gonna do some good amount of damage for these Kodiaks. Oof. The MTP does go down, so repairs are gone, but smokes are getting popped, so this will lead to uh, some kind of decoy, but no, it does not seem so that all these shark forces get cleaned up by the shark troopers inside the Mishka. I don't see any middle collection just yet. A frontline grumble, I really like this. Some shark troopers as well, with the Sentinel, but I don't really understand the passion of shark troopers that people have right now. Like, I kind of get Shuravi, like he's using a light-ish strike force, but mixed in with Sentinels, like, why would you bother with shark troopers? Like, just get more Sentinels. Actually, more bang for your buck, isn't it? I might be wrong. But uh, the clock is ticking for Vitamin as he, if he's not aggressive, these, this uh, snowball of trash units like the Junk Armor Reserves and VDV will start to amass up and he will be starting to get outnumbered. And we don't need proper artillery. And he does have the uh, Gorgons and the Advanced Artillery Systems, or as I like to call them, the, uh, the Upgrade Better Than Sex. So, um, I don't know. It's anybody's game right now. I use the Arena Upgrade for this... Uh, Sentinel, so it'll help against the infantry, but it'll help against projectiles like rockets and missiles. It won't help actually against uh, truck troopers. So I don't know. We do see more junk getting sent in. I call it conscript drop and junk drop getting dropped in. I wonder if EDV is going to get deployed or not. But there is two Boris. No, there's Boris here. He's veteran, and there's a Schmel trooper as well. And Shirav is just looking around. So that Boris does manage to fire. It's going to get Schmeled in the face. Probably not going to die, but still, Schmel in the face. That's going to hurt. The second economy does seem quite a bit of an advantage for Shirami right now. Looking at the bottom, you go, yeah, it does seem like that. Two war factories coming out from Vitamin. I need to see the war factories for Shirami. I think he only has one. Uh, I think he's focusing on secondary eco a lot. And what's this? Some shock troopers. I think they were going to try to kill the um, the Schmel, but they couldn't. And now we can see the VDV. Wait, what's this? Oh, the early burning radar. Yeah, the VDV uh, Wolverine does get targeted, and we do see Cosmos go in, but this sh are, you're not going to basically kill Boris in with these garrisons around. I do like this early warning outpost, like, that was called Observation Outpost, yeah, which will allow him to get some more vision and see what's coming. And he does manage to see the entire strike force coming from the right. He should be able to respond to it. Oh, I do see a Gorgon already. Forward supply center as well, and early warning radar, so, you know, Boris won't be able to sneak around. I think these units are going to go in the shock... Uh, the shock cost groups are in. They're going to start disabling these Mishkas, and whatever does get managed to survive all the infantry units, they will get instantly zapped right now. The Tesla cannons for those shock troopers will be doing a lot of work. Now we're going to see this uh, this observation apple is getting revealed as they can attack it, but these, uh, what's the name, these Igles are going to get sniped out as well. He's a Hellion. That's heroic. Fuck, when did this happen? Oh, wait. Also, this oil got destroyed. I'm not sure when it got destroyed, but this strike force is going in the back. I don't see any grumbles coming in from Shirabi. What? What? Did he just sell something? 
I don't know. Shirami does have a superior eco, I think, right now at least, but uh, Vyman has a superior tech. Not tech, but superior like tech units, yeah. He has higher tier units, meanwhile, uh, Shirami has more trash units. I do like the reflex missiles on these tanks. Oh, no, those aren't three those are just the, um, the weasels, yeah. And now we do see a Tesla, te that's Tesla tower. That's going to be really a bane for any of those light units. And I do see recovery coming in from Vitamin. Clearing three Mishkas? Congratulations, you have to recover three, three Mishkas. And these Grumbles are going to just blow the shit out of that Hellion. Wasted heroic Hellion, honestly. That Gorgon is going to start to engage, force the engagement or movement from those units. The, the Shilka and the Weasel does get destroyed. The, the, oh, fuck. The Tesla tank gets penetrated hard by those central tanks. They do waste some shots on the uh, smokes. But with RPG boards that's elite on the front line, I think that's aim shot coming in. Yeah, aim shot does manage to hit the central tank. That's going to hurt. I do see the burst rockets of the shock bombardier and the uh, front line. We're going to get killed by this um, sentinel. But yeah, these shock bombardiers will cause a problem for them. Oh, I do see a uh, Tesla tank coming in the front, so this will zap three of those shock troopers instantly. One, two, one more, one more, one more, another one, another one, another one. Another one, another one, come on, three. Okay, now he probably reloads, so you can get three more now. Oh, wait, he does get magic get killed. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I, I want more secondary eco coming in from uh, Vitamin, but for, for Shrali, he does not have a good anti-air coverage right now. I do like that he's getting some Gorgons of himself. He's going to probably actually be getting more Gorgons than Vitamin. And yeah, apparently Vitamin has fucking 73 power. He does have a power upgrade, that's why. Meanwhile, uh, Vitamin has... Uh, Wait, Vyman has that much power? Shirabi has, like... Yeah, Shirabi does not have so much extra power. The aim shot from Boris is going to disable this uh, Sentinel tank, and it will allow the Gorgons and the Sentinel to pick off, pick it off, hopefully. He's going to pop smokes and lose the lock, but uh, these Sentinels in the back and Gorgon there is going to probably destroy that Sentinel before they can do anything. I think Elite Boris is dead right now. It could be. These Shock Bombardiers will be destroying this Tesla Tower. It's going to throw a few more cells of... Uh, you know, uh, but rockets, but these Gorgons will be pounding down on these um, Shock Bombardiers. Thankfully, they're infantry, so they're not perfectly accurate against infantry. So they will actually be overpowering these um, Golems, and I think uh, Vyman's like, oh, wait, Shock Bombers are good? Dude, I should get some on my own. He's getting some on his own. VDV is dropped. I think it's a rank 3 VDV coming from Vyman. It will be trying to kill these Shocks, I think, but they're going to be completely exposed and uh, quickly picked off at this point. That's a real shame. So, what is the counter to Shock Bombardiers other than your Shock Bombardiers? I don't know the core answer in the Russian Mirror. But I'm going to guess Testos would be a good and um, Suicide Brentino. I guess that's my only option I can think of. Yeah, Shock Bombardier against Shock Bombardier. Brother against brother. This is a horse heresy all over again. Yes, I did a Warhammer reference. Fuck off. I like Warhammer 40k. You may say fuck the Lord day by day. Now we are going to see uh, Vyman retreat as uh, Shroud is going to push through the middle. I am going to see uh, more and more supplies, arm supplies come in from uh, Shravi. Uh, I'm not going to see that many coming from Vyman as I think he's basically cornered in the back. I do like this middle collection he has. He should probably rebuild a supply center over here. But, uh, you know, he's going to have the middle one which will probably get destroyed in just a second. He's not selling this off and I do kind of respect that because this means that, uh, you know, he's going to just basically waste time destroying this. As the shock troopers go in and they're going to kill this, like, Gorgon. Um, it's kind of funny because I know that Ilya once told me how uh, inefficient shock troopers are compared to conscripts. Like, you should definitely spam conscripts against shock troopers. But that's not coming in as well. Shirabi has enabled a rank 1 early warning radar, a uh, targeting satellite, pardon me. And it's going to start scanning this area, removing any stealth unit and giving a rate of fire bonus to any target with under these uh, under the scan. This also works for any that's going to attack, and they're going to try to start, start destroying this power plant. And we do see a power, more power going down, but honestly, Shirabi ha has enough to spare. He has way, way up by way. With this top flank coming in, the Gorgon is playing the strike force. And I see some Tunguskas coming from the left. But they're going to be doing anything. This front line grumble will be doing quite a bit. Shirabi's foe up is coming in. The White Swan is swooping in. I think he's going to probably kill a second War Factor in the back. I do see Grumble's pounding against the White Swan's hits, but... Wait, that's a drop. That's a perfect drop. Going to destroy the supply center. Going to destroy two power plants and the fucking uh, radar. And Vitamin does surrender. GG. Well played. And, um, well, you know, it's Truman Blizzard. What do you expect? That's all, folks. Yeah, the eco difference is not that big, though. I like that. The eco difference is not that big. 
I think the snowball of the free units coming in from uh, for Shirabi, the second rank, like the first rank, it was okay, but if he let, didn't get the second rank going without getting rank three himself, that was a problem. But he got very late. He got very late rank three. But um, next game, I should like I should probably see a better you know performance. Hopefully, that's all for now.